cancer. It's the fourth group of patients. Uh, good afternoon. I'm a postgraduate student of Petrov Institute, and I'm going to speak about drug therapy uh, of uh, this type of cancer, despite of uh, lots of histological variations. Uh, I would like to speak today only about squamous cell cancer and about uh, this uh, Squamous cell uh, HPV associated forms, uh, just studies in the area of head and neck. Uh, uh, tumors, uh, the results show that uh, it uh, responds to radiation, it uh, allows to use immunotherapy, other manchets, and in this nosological form, uh, there were low level of studies, but in 2019, Lancet uh, showed uh, that 30 in 30 per 50% of such cancer cases HPV is found, squamous cell variations were studied and less than 50% were represented by HPV positive cases. Uh, subgroup analysis showed that uh, uh, subtype 16 accounts for 80%, number 6 less than 8 and 18 less than 6%. HPV is associated with better prognosis, uh, similar to head and neck tumors associated with this virus. 212 uh, 12, uh, 12, uh, patients were uh, studied, and five-year survival was 96% in the group of uh, HPV positive. Uh, patient subgroup analysis, uh, analysis were done uh, regarding the stage and grade uh, invasion in lymphovascular and agent. It was statistically important difficult difference that was found. We'll consider drug therapy. Uh, chemo is the key variant that was successful in all the countries, included in all the recommendations, CCM, Russian recommendations, guidelines, in other words. Uh, will consider the role of uh, our local of local therapy of target and immune therapy in such patients so let's start with local therapy topical therapy 2012 uh, topic forms of uh, were studied of fluoroxyl of imiquimod and uh, different cytokines were studied which are used in candeloma treatment for basiloma treatment and it was applied here. According to the study, uh, five fluoroxyl was successful in 21 patients. It was complete uh, response, partial in th response in 13. Necremote was used for lower number of cases in two or four patients. Imiquivote was second line of therapy and when uh, five fluoroxyl failed. Carcinoma in C2 with positive uh, uh, 5% acid, uh, for positive response, five day or five, uh, f several days or five for fluoroxyl. You can see uh, the end of uh, the therapy. Uh, number three and number four, it's negative test with acetyl, acetyl uh, acid. Uh, new adjuvant uh, therapy, whom for its local uh, disseminated advanced human non resectable with involvement uh, bilaterally of the node, no lymph lymph nodes or a very big lymph node or involvement of pelvic area. It's potential. Clinical oncology, second stage study, TIP regime, new adjuvant regime was studied, paclitaxel, if a swafamid and cis Platin was used, response in 60%. In 10, it was a complete response in lymphatic nodes. DPF regime was studied, uh, uh, and the 
uh, the objective response was only in uh, 44 46% of patients only in one one patient showed complete response in uh, the lymph nodes it was toxic actually this regime that's why tip regime was uh, approved as the standard now the second one wasn't approved it's the standard adjuvant uh, therapy, first of all, involvement of pelvic group of lymphatic no nodes, so bilateral involvement of growing group or more than three involved lymphatic nodes. Re uh, it's tip. Uh, first of all, PF could be used and chemo uh, radiation therapy could be considered for high risk. Uh, group, it's low uh, differentiated, three grade and lymphatic nodes. But we should understand uh, that uh, we do not have evidence based for this regime. All data works uh, uh, were taken from the now adjuvant uh, regime. It was extrapolation. We know nothing, almost nothing about effectiveness of this regime. Uh, it's a drug uh, therapy for uh, locally advanced and metastatic forms and again tip regime it's proved its efficacy and it's used as the first line of drug uh, therapy but taking into account epidemiology and uh, uh, if we remember that with age uh, comorbidities are developed and uh, we can't use this aggressive regime in all patients as alternatively PF uh, could be used and and rendecast with a uh, carboplatin. Uh, the role of target therapy. Uh, it was started in the drug study in 2014 retrospective study. They got uh, cetuximab in monotherapy in combination with chemotherapy. It was given uh, 24 patients uh, were examined, were studied. Median of survival was 207 days and 79 days before recurrency. But as additional option, it could be used. Uh, 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 inhibitors could be used through trichinib and trichinib could be used only in case of mutation in, in the NTRRK gene. Now the role of immune therapy, everybody knows that uh, PD-1 inhibitors uh, are effective for the patients with microsatellites, instability and PDI in expression, but the studies are not multiple. The studies uh, which were um, published on um, pembrolizumab in the, for the penile cancer patients, uh, in fact, uh, dates back to uh, 2016, and they have enrolled only six patients so far. We don't get any results actually from the from it. There was only a second phase study. Uh, the territory, uh, the territory, uh, uh, they, they included three patients, and uh, generally speaking, the results were proved not to be not effective. As a matter of fact, we continue uh, to get observations and separate clinical cases that tell us about the fact that PDL inhibitors can be used with a great effectiveness with uh, PDL. Uh, one expression, microsatellite instability, as a matter of fact, is not something that we occur, that we come across in these patients. In uh, 100 patients, we didn't get a single case of such microsatellite instability. But from the recent news, FDA registered uh, peprolizumab uh, for the treatment of patients with high mutation load. Unfortunately, in Russia. This particular uh, method is a little bit more uh, expensive than we'd, we would expect, but in the future we would also use it. Here you can see the uh, mutation rate uh, in, with different uh, tumors. The penile cancers are not included, but if you can extrapolate this data from the squam cell carcinoma head and neck, there will be high rate of somatic mutations, which is high potential for the antigen expression. And also it gives us an opportunity to, to choose immune therapy as an attempt uh, for the first, uh, second line, excuse me, treatment. Uh, as a matter of conclusions, I would like to say that so uh, this nosological form is quite rare in Russia. 
we registered approximately 160 cases, slightly more than that, in uh, Europe and America, approximately 200. The majority of these cases, in fact, are within local forms, and the chemotherapists, as doctors, have uh, small um, clinical uh, experience. The clinical uh, trials are not uh, multiple, and there are no standards of treatment for, no adjuvant treatment for the adjuvant treatment for GFR inhibitors. I'm about, so I have finished.